Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. I <laughs> I survived a Monday. It is Tuesday, August 16th, 2016. Tuesday, August 16th, 2016. I always give the date. Don't freak out. Don't freak out if you're watching this a week later or a month later or a year later. This isn't a current affairs news show. <laughs> this is about knives and all the stuff that's going to fill my pockets today. I give you the date because we do this every single day. Every single day. I don't care. I don't care if it's a blizzard outside. I don't care if it's a bad thunderstorm or it's a birthday or a national holiday or whatever. We do the pocket dump deconstruction every single day right here on the Keith Kevin Ken uh, channel. And it's all because of the subscribers if you have been watching this but you haven't subscribed why don't you join that group of outstanding people <laughs> hit the subscribe button together we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers once we do that i'm gonna open up all of my spyticos which are oh man about 400 of them and we're going to talk about them and fondle them, just like we're going to talk about what you see in front of you. That right there, my friends, what you see in front of you is what's going to fill my pockets on this Tuesday. Man, I barely made it to Tuesday. Monday was a tough one. In fact, I didn't post the Instagram picture of the pocket dump until evening. Usually that's around noonish time, so a little busy. But that's how I'm able... <laughs> to buy all these knives and stuff. So let's talk about that. What you see, that's going to fill my pockets today. Took several pictures of this. I'm going to try to get it up around noonish this time. Noonish, oneish. Uh hopefully I don't get distracted like I did uh yesterday. I turned my iPhone 6s Plus from photo to video and now we're going to do the pocket dump deconstruction for the Keith Kevin Ken channel. The one you're watching right here. Uh, the watch today is my Mont Blanc chronograph, which I just love. Had it for a lot of years. Yes, about 20 years. Um, man, I'll tell you, I just love the Cuban cigars Trinidad. I really fell in love with Trinidad when I first started smoking. My very first, second, second Cuban cigar. My first one was a Cohiba because I had read so much about it. I went to uh, the Bahamas and gambled. And every time I won, I walked down the hall and bought a Cuban cigar. <laughs> so had to get a Cohiba because of all of the publicity. Then I did the old fashioned Trinidad's. I still have about 15 of those old Trinidad's in my humidor aging away. Some of them are just so oh, just classic. Trinidad's. This is one of the more modern uh, uh, bands, as you can see, but I just love this. Nice, short, perfect smoke uh, of the Trinidad Cuban cigar. I just like it. I do. That's why I'm going to have some blended scotch with it. I do not drink during work. I do not drink during work. This all happens after work. Sometimes I sit outside of work with some folks and talk and bring out the flask. Hey, you'd be surprised what old gentlemanly things like a flask will do for you and a cigar. Trust me, young folks. <laughs> um, my Shone uh, titanium pen, Shone Designs, and then made in the USA, but here's something not made in the USA. It's a Chinese panda coin. That's the 2000 year 2000 Chinese panda coin um, very popular coins I love collecting them as well that's gonna be my good luck charm man if I didn't have my good luck charm yesterday I don't know I probably would have been hit by a bus twice because <laughs> <laughs> it was a tough day and that's with my good luck <laughs> a silver coin in my pocket uh, Mont Blanc uh, thin wallet and then I'll tell you, I had some mail today and had to run down. And you guys know when I run down to the mailroom, <laughs> if I don't bring 
a big knife uh, for the mailroom folks. Uh, <laughs> they asked me, can you come down later? And so I always go into my case. You guys know, there's, I, I'm not a huge big knife guy. I, you know, a Sabenza, a large Sabenza is probably as big as I go. I do have other knives that I carry that aren't Sabenzas. They're uh, Spydeco, Browse Blades. I have two or three customs, but they're all around the Sabenza size. So I really adore, <laughs> I really love bringing the big knives downstairs and showing them off and having them have fun. This time, I brought a big knife and then I came up here and played with that and its brother. Those are the knives that got away. We'll talk about that later. But I was thinking about carrying one of them today and then I thought, no, got a couple of meetings. Let's go with the classy. So probably this week, given what happened on Monday, you're probably gonna see a lot of matchy matchy uh, knives. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, this is, yeah, you've seen the roadie a lot. It's one of my go-to knives because it's just so perfect. It's a perfect little EDC knife. And I'm calling it an EDC knife and you guys say, oh, that little thing with a 2.1 inch blade. Yeah, it's got decent steel, N690 steel. It has that FRN scales. I find them very handy. First, they have five different colors. So when you're doing plain Jane knives, sometimes you want a little color, especially for me when it's the keychain knife. A lot of times I take my keys out of my pocket and they're laying on a desk at work in my office and people see it. I love the little color, I do. And it's really handy. It's light and handy. Again, five colors, blue, gray, orange, red, and black. Um, and with this little, it's a slip joint knife, non-locking knife. You have to open it up with two hands. They made it that way. That's why the Spidey hole is really just a branding thing. It's not really useful. Love the slip joints from Spydeco. They always have a choil, no matter how small. This is a small knife. Super light. About, it weighs a little bit more than that coin. But look at that. Ah, comes sharp as a tack. Sharper than a tack out of the box. Oh, I just, I, I, I really love the roadie. You guys should check it out. Um, has, instead of a nail neck to open it up, it has these two notches, left or right. Doesn't have like a lot of the keychain knives, even the small knives that do have um, pocket clips. I've noticed a lot of people take them off. I don't, because I'm lazy. I keep them on, but I don't clip them to anything. This one doesn't come with a clip, doesn't need one. It's just a real nice knife. And of course, like all modern slip joint non-locking knives, the folders, are, well, they're all folders. Um, they have this 90 degree stop. See that? Sure, you can push past the stop, but when it stops, it says, hey, you're about ready to cut your fingers, move them out the way. I really love slip joints. I need to do, I have a bunch of slip joints. I don't carry them as much as I should. Most of them are medium sized knives and not keychain knives. I have a lot of knives that, <laughs> I feel embarrassed that I have not been showing you guys because I only do the pocket dump deconstruction every single day. I have to get back on my once a week uh, special knife videos and I'm going to do that. I promise you I'll do that. Just been a busy time at work. My medium knife, yeah, it's matchy matchy. I'm going Chris Reeve out today. Um, <laughs> this is the Chris Reeve Small Sabenza 21 <laughs> with Ladder Damascus. Ah, oh, Devin Thomas Ladder Damascus. Man, is that beautiful? That Ladder Damascus. I really love that shape. Ah, oh, man, I love that Ladder Damascus. This is Chris Reeve, and you guys know, if you follow me in the past, you probably don't know. If you want to feel like you follow me in the past, I have over 190 pocket dump deconstructions on the playlist. Go check out, go check them out. 
Read the titles. You can see what kind of knives are in there. There's always a bunch of knives. Uh, so go check out that, uh, the playlist. But this is small. It's a Benza 21 with that. Oh, man. I really like that. 2.9 inch Devin Thomas ladder Damascus blade. I love that it's a plain Jane until you get that flurry with the... Uh, that wonderful flare with the uh, blade, that Damascus blade, it's just perfect. It's Chris Reeves, it's a Benza. <laughs> yes, I'm slobbering. I have 48 of them, and I have never had a problem with any of my Sabenzas. Of course, people have had problems with Sabenzas. They're knives, they're made. Some, you know, they're mid techs. Yes, there are some machines, they're handled by people as well. But let me just tell you something, man. 48 no problems i'll go with that any single day of the week there you go that's my medium carry it's the sabenza the small sabenza 21 with that ladder damascus and here's the big brother it's a chris rave large sabenza 21 with that Devin thomas ladder damascus man i had to do it usually i make sure that i'm not matchy matchy but Man, it's it's like, I don't know. I love, love my my ex-wife, wonderful cook. She was a wonderful cook. She, she's still alive. Dead to me though. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Mother of my kids, grandmother of my grandchildren. She's great. Uh, anyway, uh, great cook. But you know what I always loved and she hated it? Mashed potatoes and meatloaf, man. Just give me some chicken. Give me eggs and home fries with some bacon. Simple stuff. <laughs> she was great with all the curries and everything else. Baked and did everything else. I just want simple stuff sometimes. And that's like this. Simple. But you know what? Those little flurries that you put in there. Oh, man. Makes all the difference in the world. And this is the large Sabenza 21, 3.6 inch Devin Thomas ladder Damascus blade. Uh, I'll tell you, um, there's another reason I was playing with my Chris Reeve knives and decided to do this. Because I had a horrible Monday. And I'll tell you, this made me feel so good going through the knives. You know, sometimes there are things you work for. You work for your kids, you work for your grandkids. And you work for yourself. And uh, man, it's worth the people who try to ruin a day. By the way, I'm not, you know, I, my work isn't as hard as most of yours is. It's a, it's, it's what I always wanted to do in my life. And no, I'm not telling you because I separate work from this. But I'll tell you something, man, I don't care what you're doing. I'm sure people who shoot photographs for Playboy all day and all night, probably complain when they get home. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's a job to them. It would be pleasure for me, but it's a job for them. Large Sabenza 21, man, titanium all the way through with that Chris Reeve integral lock, 3.6 inch Devin Thomas Damascus blade. That's a carry. And yes, I did a little bit of that decorating. Don't you love when knife makers, people pay all this money for customs, which I love. At some point, I'll go custom too. At some point, I'll, I'll sell three of the Chris Reeves so I can get a good, uh, or trade a good uh, custom and end up with fewer knives but customs. I'm sure I'm gonna go that way. I'll either go that way or just sell out my collection and start getting ready for retire early retirement <laughs> or something. Uh, but I do love the, <laughs> I love this carry. It just makes me feel good, even as I talk to you guys. Plain Jane with those ladder Damascus blades, have the blue studs, and then you get the blue roadie. I love it. Two of my favorite knife makers, Chris Reeve. And of course, Spydeco. There you have it, folks. That's what I put in my, uh, that's what I will post on Instagram, at Keith Kevin King. Come join the feed. Come join it. I post at least four pictures every day. Also, um, 
You can thumb this up if you love the pocket dump. Some people say I go on and on after I do the pocket dump, and I do because I'm going to talk about the knives that got away, but I always do the pocket dump first. Then I talk about Instagram, the fact that you can thumb it up, and please uh, become a subscriber because we're trying to hit that thousand subscriber goal. And then I tell you this ain't Instagram. It's the Keith Kevin Ken channel, and yes, <laughs> when I don't get the mail in the afternoons, I go down early in the morning to the mail room. Love the guys down there. And they love the big knives. And so I thought I'd treat them with this. I really, really adore Strider. Um, this was the first Strider I ever purchased. It's the Strider SMF 3.9 inch blade. Oh, man. It has a nice special uh, blade steel to PD1 steel, PD1 steel. And you guys know I'm not genius steel guy, but it's great steel. Man, this thing has retained an edge forever. I just love it. I got it because a friend of mine was going to do some work in the garage, wanted some knives. I said, let's go get some Striders. I hadn't bought a Strider. I'd heard about them. And we were going to beat up on them pretty good. Yeah, this was beat up on, believe it or not. And I picked up this, the Strider SMF 3.9 inch blade, as I told you, with that special PD1 steel. And it had a gunner grip. Now, if you guys can tell people more about PD1 steel, please comment in the box below. A lot of you are a lot smarter than I am, especially when it comes to steels and the particulars. Please help the community. Uh, comment about the steel down below. I know that this thing remains sharp though. I took it downstairs. They love it. I love the gunner grip, but I hate carrying the gunner grip. <laughs> okay. It's a gunner grip because it gives you that great grip. I bought it so I could beat up on some stuff that we were doing in his garage and man, it was great. It has an aggressive, um, it, it's, it has aggressive handle it's g10 brown g10 it has uh, uh the brown backspacer and then it has the titanium on the back and the titanium is aggressively textured it helps you with that grip i love to choil on this thing oh i love it it is a perfect grip on striders man i love them i do this thing when you pick up a Strider, you know it's going to last forever. It's like when you pick up a Chris Reeve, you just feel it. And when you work with it, you really know it. The gunner grip is wonderful. Um, you see the tie in the back. You also see um, the, the frame lock. The reason I say I don't like carrying it is the thing that makes the gunner grip Strider so great is this wonderful textured, heavy textured grip that you will not let go of. Um, but man, it tears the hell out of your pockets. Was that a wimpy thing I just said? <laughs> but it does. It's not easy in and out. I think that's why Strider, I don't know which came first. If you guys do know, please comment down there. But I'm sure one reason Strider said, hey, here's the gunner grip. And then here's the concealed <laughs> carry. The one that has those smooth scales that just slide in and out of your pocket with everything smooth. But I love this gunner grip. I took this downstairs and then when I came up and I was about ready to put it back in the case and then I was thinking, oh, put it in the case or talk to you guys about the knife that, you know, that I took downstairs and I pulled out my other Strider SMF. This one I have carried this one I considered carrying today. Off of this one, I wasn't considering carrying the gunner grip. I just wanted to show the guys. And by the way, they fell in love with the Strider. They love the big knives down there. And you can imagine they cut boxes uh, uh, all day long, so they really love them. But this is my Strider SMF that has a nice little grip, but not as aggressive as the gunner grip on the black G10, which is really, really nice. See that? Tie back with a, a, a frame lock as well. 
still has that 3.9 inch blade. This one I bought later because I wanted something to really carry. S30V steel, we all know how great that steel is. This one I was considering to carry because I didn't want to go matchy matchy, but you want to know what? Screw it. I wanted my meatloaf and mashed potatoes today. <laughs> the matchy matchy Chris Reeve knives. So this is the knife that got away. Ah, should have brought them both down. <laughs> and that way I didn't have, to, I could have cut the time in half of them passing around the knives. I love the guys down there. Anyway, there you go. That's the carry. That's the knife I took downstairs for the guys in the mail room at my building. And folks, that is the knife that got away. The Strider SMF with the blue, the black G10 S30V steel. This is the gunner grip, buddies. PD1 steel. If anyone can help us with that, please put it in the comment box. I'd really appreciate it. There you have it, folks. That's the carry. That's the pocket dump deconstruction. Don't forget to thumb this up. Hey, you guys, when you go crazy on the thumb ups, I can't wait to do the next pocket dump deconstruction. And I love doing it for you guys right before I run off to work late. And also, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. We're making our way to Spider. Why did I say Spider Cole Palooza? If I always forget it, Spidey Spidey Palooza is on its way once we hit a thousand. Hey, you guys, I appreciate you all. I really do. Thank you for all the time that you give me when you watch these videos. I know how precious, how very precious that time is. So thank you for that. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Have some fun. Just take a little time today and have some fun. I got to say that so I remember to stop down and have some fun as well. Goodbye.